Let's study this case. Uh, I'm 50 years old with cirrhosis of the liver and supremomegaly, no ascites. I will place the probe below the costal margin, give a sweep below the costal margin and wish to see if the liver tissue is seen below costal margin or not. So the uh, liver tissue is not seen below costal margin. Okay, now I will, I'm going into the left inter, uh, intercostal space, right intercostal space to see the outer margin. You can see that the outer margin is irregular. This is the outer margin of the liver. And again, on the, from this side, this is the lateral, uh, sorry, the transfer section of the left lobe of the liver. And here you can again see that the outer surface is not smooth. The angle is sharp, though this is the angle. Uh, now, this is an area, rounded, well demarcated with the end edge of the liver. It, is it a focal region or what it is? It appears to be, you know, it seems to be a focal region with the edge of the angle of the liver, lateral border, this area, this surrounded area. This is the liver angle left lobe from the left lobe. Okay. Now this area. What is this area? Now if you any suspicious area that you see, give it a sweep, 90 degree sweep, and now you see that it has changed its shape and has become longitudinal. here to here and from here to here. So this is a bowel segment in fact and not uh, a focal lane. This is a typical target sign appearance of a bowel in transfer section. This is a bowel in transfer section. This is the wall of the bowel, the hypocoic area. And uh, there is not no focal lane seen relating to the left lobe of the liver or the liver angle. Now this is the left lobe of the liver in uh, a longitudinal section. This is the uh, ligamentum venosum. This is the inferior vena cava. This is the segment one of the liver and we don't see any yes, the left lobe of uh, sorry the caudate lobe of the liver is normal. This is the portal vein. Now the portal vein should not make uh, more than 13 from inner to inner border at the level of porta hepatis. Let's see. And we will always measure from inner to inner. So it measures approximately 15.9 millimeters and the portal vein is dilated because it should not have exceeded more than 13 millimeters at the region of porta hepatis and it is patent there is no evidence of clot so the portal vein is dilated this is the transfer section of the left lobe of the liver and uh, here you can see that uh, the coarseness, the irregularity of the outer surface, diffuse, increased parenchymal echogenicity, the coarseness, and this is the ligamentum venosum, this is the IVC, this is the uh, caudate lobe of liver or the segment one of the liver, this is the gallbladder in this field. You can see the irregularity of the uh, blurness rather of the hepatic veins.
the hepatic veins are not dilated, so no question of uh, congestive uh, cirrhosis or cardiac cirrhosis. So now coming over down to, now we see the walls of the gallbladder. The gallbladder is normal, but the wall appears thick. And uh, this is the wall. It appears thick. And it appears thick because of the adjacent liver parenchymal changes. So this is a usual finding you will be seeing very commonly in cirrhotic patients regarding the wall of the liver, the, uh, sorry, wall of the gallbladder. The gallbladder itself is clear, is there is no calculi and it is unremarkable. Now let's compare the echogenicity of the liver with that of the right kidney. The echogenicity of the liver is diffusely increased, is coarse and is more as compared to that of the right renal parenchyma. Now I ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it to see the uh, right lobe of the liver in total. This is the diaphragm, the right diaphragm. This is the right hepatic vein. This is the gallbladder. This is the liver parenchyma. So, pasal Now, studying the liver with patient in left lateral decubitus posture. This is the kidney. And this is uh, the kidney parenchyma, right kidney parenchyma, normal kidney. And this is the liver with diffuse increased parenchyma lipogenicity post texture, irregular outer surface, this is the right hemidiaphragm part of it. Now here comes the portal vein at right angles to the gallbladder, this is the gallbladder, this is the portal vein. And now I am in the intercostal space, trying to see if there is any focal in, in any segment of the liver. So I do not see any focal in the liver, though the liver is of normal dimension. Now these, see the portal vein, right portal vein, the left portal vein, the ascending portion of the left portal vein, the left ascending branch, right branch, left, uh, the left branch, right ascending branch from the ascending portion of the right portal vein and <coughs> normal caliber hepatic veins entering the uh, IVC where you are. This is the right hepatic vein entering in vena cava, middle hepatic vein, left hepatic vein entering the IVC. Sindhu, yes sir. There is no evidence of uh, adenopathy at the uh, region of the porta hepatis. This is the region of the porta hepatis. And uh, there is no evidence of adenopathy at the porta, uh, at the paraiotic plan as well. This is the paraiotic plan. This is the aorta. This is the spirit mesenteric artery. This is the celiac axis arising from it. Now, this is the pancreas. The landmark of the pancreas is, as we know, the supplenic vein. This is the supplenic vein. This is the pancreas. This is the pancreatic duct. This is the aorta, superior mesenteric vein. This is the tail of the pancreas, body of the pancreas. Now, let's see the supplenic. The spleen from pole to pole, normal, should not exceed more than uh, 12 centimeters. In this patient, it measures 14.2 centimeters. So the spleen is enlarged from pole to pole or in length. And now let's see what is its measurement in width. Measures approximately. 
it should not exceed more than 6, it's approximately 7.5, so the spleen is enlarged in width as well as in anterior posterior diameter, here comes the left kidney, it becomes easy to see the left kidney when the spleen is enlarged. Now the splenic vein is not dilated, appears to be not dilated, this is the splenic vein and it measures 5.5 millimeters, normal is up to 10, so the spleen is uh, not. There is another way to measure the spleen in case of any, to rule out any discrepancy. We get the splenic vein from where we see the pancreas. Here, here again it measures 5.9. So uh, the splenic vein is not dilated. There is no dependent region. This is the uh, urinary bladder, and there is no dependent region ascites. So this is a case of uh, liver cirrhosis with splenic vein and with dilated portal vein. Thank you.